hey guys welcome once more to the d1w1 youtube channel uh it's been a good week so far uh done all my sessions work with my clients uh had uh, two days uh in the gym so it's been actually a good week can't complain um still doing what i love to do um changing lives changing my own life and also happen to if clients and gym members the right advice so they can actually achieve what they are trying to achieve uh, otherwise so what am I gonna talk today about some talk about men 30 years 35 years 40 50 60 plus what they are doing right and what they are doing wrong actually is what they are doing wrong and also how that affects their t levels that's uh, testosterone you know testosterone start to decrease when we get to the age of 30 so before we get into that again guys please subscribe to my channel share with your friends send me your comments so we can interact we can talk you can exchange ideas ask me questions if uh, your questions are too technical for me i'm gonna seek uh respond to somebody who is because we've got people who are more academic than us in this industry some of us we actually love training some people are into the academic side of personal training they know all the muscles and know some of us we just love it it's our passion we get in there we do it and we do it the best way we know how to do it so guys again drop me your subscriptions and let's go right into it so are you 30 years plus before you get to the age of 30 what happens your t level is always so high that's why if you go to the gym you see all the young lads below the age of 30 with some 30 plus like 32 33 we see we see have some strong over 30s but before you get to that 30 magic 30 that magic three your t level is always so high we all know that from the time you're born all you do is your test your t level keep rising and rising and rising that's why before the age of 30 with some few cases we are always too rugged in our movement we have lots of energy we can train for five six seven hours a day come back the next day and we can still train with the same intensity but once you get to that magic three you discover that that energy level you had starts to decline so that means your t level is dropping t levels that testosterone starts to drop once you hit 30 and that's three percent to five percent for every 10 years so three percent to five percent level starts to drop so what can we do to reduce the decrease of our t levels yeah some people are gonna say you can buy these buy that buy that online buy the uh, table stars buy the that is artificial even i don't know if it works because i've never tried one and some people use peds you might see some over 30s over 35 over 40s still training as hard in the gym like as if they are below 30. there are rare cases where some people are some people are born different some of us we start to notice that there's a decline in energy or t levels start to decline so what how can we train in a way that can actually boost our t levels so let's go right into it one stop if you are overweight you have to try and stop getting into these diet plans the diet plans yes might work they might help you to lose some fat but what happens when you're losing fat through a diet plan you also 
uh, you also are gonna lose some muscles and by the way those diet plans the, there's one called paleo there's a keto there's a low fat there's a low carb those are definitely going to make you lose weight but when you lose too much weight because of a diet plan you're also gonna lose some muscles and your T levels require these require some amount of fat the testosterone requires some amount of fat if you are losing all the fat by sticking to these diet plans you will discover that your T levels will start to drop significantly too so eat some carbs enjoy life you, most of us are not professionals you don't want to go on stage so what's the point are you killing yourself if you eat the right amount of fat in your food and carbs in your food and then you if you want to count calories it's up to you count calories but if you don't want to count calories you cannot eat more than your body needs three meals a day is sufficient three meals that has got enough veg enough protein uh, carbs and and fat is sufficient number two once you get to 30 there's no point to for you to carry on to be doing to be to carry on to try and be lifting too much big weight in the gym who are you competing with you're not young anymore there's no ego lifting nobody cares if you are lifting 220 on a squat if you are lifting 240 on a deadlift no if you can't that's fine but what happens when you get to 30 you don't want to catabolize your muscles if you're training that hard you break down break down all the molecules in your muscles and that is gonna take time to heal once you get to that age you want to structure your sessions in a way that you are training all the multi joints you're training using multi joint movement cut your sessions down to 45 to one hour minimal rest between set so get in there get it done and you're out of the gym by the way you haven't got time you might be having kids you have work so there's no time to go in the gym and be spending like one hour 30 minutes or two hours that time is gone that time is gone if you did not do that before you get to the age of 30 forget about it you get it yeah so structure your workout so you're working training using the multi joint for example squats their leaves uh, bench get in the gym get it done out of the gym and then that is another thing again you have to make sure that you are not doing too much cardio you are doing too much cardio for example if you want to lose weight you go to the gym you jump on a treadmill you're spending 40 minutes what for there's no point why are you spending 40 minutes on the treadmill or on the bike or on the roar or on the stairmaster 10 to 15 minutes is all you need on the cardio machines do some weight because you are trying to build muscle and when you build muscle you actually boost your T levels we need that you don't want your wife or your partner to be angry every morning you need to make sure she has the work and in order for her to have that work you need to build a muscle and that muscle improves your testosterone and when your testosterone is improved you know mm, you are energetic you get in there she looks at you all sweaty coming out from the gym she sees the muscles the pec is pumped the bicep are pumped she gets you know and that's what we need you need to enjoy you need to let them enjoy because by the way the first time they saw you they were attracted to you 
so you need to make sure that fire is still burning so less cardio more resistant training make sure your workouts are one hour tops three days a week is all you need and then obviously the most important thing is your food you can eat what you want but in moderation you can have a beer you can have um, a shot of your favorite whiskey but make sure you stay within the calories that your body actually needs drink plenty of water get your supplements in if you need them vitamins very important vitamin D, vitamin magnesium fish oil those are very important for you especially for the joints you're getting old your joints are getting old you need to make sure you give them the right amount of vitamins to keep you going so guys again try and subscribe to my channel let me grow is what i'm trying to be good at this year i mean sitting here talking to the camera is not easy but when we see you subscribing they give us that motivation so that's all i had for today if you guys did not understand anything drop me a message drop me a comment go to my instagram page tv banakin that's d-i-w-i banakin is actually on the link and let us have some chat let's keep doing what we're doing best let's grow old let's look young let's feel energetic let's enjoy life it's one life make it count peace